When everything shut down and it seemed like the world was coming to a halt, I turned to Bach. I woke up on that first morning of self-isolation when we were all told to stay home unless you were an essential worker, and I wondered what my day would hold. I was supposed to be out of town for a concert with a symphony, and instead I had an empty calendar for the next week and possibly the foreseeable future. The weight of what was happening hadn't quite settled in yet. I had just come off of a stretch where I played seven concerts in ten days, but realized that I had a free morning to pick up my cello and play just for me. I didn't have to practice for any concerts or gigs or recording sessions, so I turned to what many cellists refer to as the Bible of cello playing, which are the Bach Suites. knew how long this period of self-isolation would last, or how long the pandemic would last. We were told it would be a few weeks until things were under control, so we should be patient and this would all pass. Everybody was scared, I was scared, but we were also hopeful that we'd be through the worst of it by the end of March. So we decided to start a little project because I didn't have much else to do at the time. I would record a movement of Bach every day using only my phone and post it to Instagram. There are six suites and six movements in each suite, so it would take 36 days to finish, and my hope was by the end of it we'd be back up and running again and I could return to rehearsing and performing as usual. I had worked on each suite at different points in my life, but I had never played them all at the same time, so this would be a very interesting technical, musical, and mental challenge for me. The suites are generally ordered easiest to hardest, with a few exceptions, so Starting with the first suite didn't seem all that daunting to me at the time. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
By day three, the mornings had already started to blend into one another, so um, I started to get into a routine. I would wake up, walk the dog, make some coffee, grab my cello and start playing. It felt good to play. And people seem to be watching online. Maybe having something consistent, even if it's as simple as one short movement of Bach to watch every day, seemed like a nice way to pass the time. <laughs> So I started to ask myself a question that all cellists ask themselves at one point or another. It's a question that I've revisited many, many times in my life. Why are these suites considered the pinnacle of cello music? Why are they the holy grail? Why did they remain the most popular pieces for cello by far 300 years later? What makes these special? So you can Google it, right? And read a lot of articles that discuss the great mystery of the Bach suites. Um, the rediscovery of the suites in the 19th century by Pablo Casals, who we consider the pioneer of modern cello playing. You can even read musical and academic analysis of the suites, but for me, nobody has ever really answered those questions in a simple and clear way. I think it's because these suites mean something different to every cellist and to every listener. And once I realized that, that's when I found out why they're such special pieces of music for me. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
As classical musicians, we generally spend our time playing other people's music. Our job effectively is to interpret the instructions given to us by a composer. It's very different than, say, a singer-songwriter who can write a song about anything they want and express anything they want. We instead have to find meaning in someone else's creation. Composers who write music give us notes, dynamics, speed or tempo, phrasing indications, expressive guidelines, and words like passionate or subdued or mysterious, uh, or anything else they choose to include in the music. Bach suites are different, though. For starters, there is no Bach manuscript. We only have a copy that his wife at the time made. This is the most original manuscript we have and will probably ever have, and it's one of the simplest musical manuscripts ever created. There are notes. If you look at the page, there are just notes and some slurs, articulation, but otherwise that's it. No instructions, no tempo, no dynamics, no expressive markings, nothing, just, just the notes. So for me, as an interpreter of other people's music, this is effectively the same thing as, say, a poet or a writer sitting in front of a blank sheet of paper, an open notebook with endless possibilities. And so we have to put ourselves into the music. Every single time a cellist sits down to play the Bach suites, it's going to be different because there are no directions to follow other than the notes and the type of dance that each movement is styled after. We all have good days and we all have bad days. We have happy occasions and sad occasions. We gain things, we lose things in life. There is no other music for the cello that allows for reflection the way that Bach does. <laughs> Bach is 
our personal diary. Bach helps us tell our stories. Maybe Bach knew when he wrote these suites that we don't need him to tell us how to play his music. Bach maybe gave us this music to remind us that we live and breathe, and that art should really reflect that. It's not static. It changes every time you sit down to play it, and our lives change every day that we wake up, sometimes for the better and, and sometimes for the worse. It took 36 days for me to make these recordings of the Bach suites. It's taken another 183 beyond then for me to understand the importance of his music for musicians and for the world. We're still very much in this pandemic, and though the days often blend into one another, every day is a little bit different. Many, many people have had to endure huge losses since March, and many others have gained immeasurably. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I do know that Bach's music will help me process it and get through it. When you listen to Bach, you have to listen knowing that you are hearing someone bearing their innermost soul to you at that moment in a way that maybe words can't. You're hearing someone at their most vulnerable. You're hearing that through a vehicle that is 300 years old and will live far beyond our lifetimes. That's the magic behind Bach's six suites for solo cello, and that's the reason we're going to keep revisiting these pieces and loving these pieces of music for years and years to come. Thank you. 